summertime and the grilling is easy. That is if you know what you're doing. Let's bring in spokesperson, spokes farmer rather, Amanda Freud. She is here from Cabot Creamery Cooperative and she always has many great ideas for us. How are you? I'm wonderful. It's be good to be back with you. I love having you here, even if you give me a tongue twister at the beginning there. <laughs> Let's talk about ways that you can help people elevate their grilling and why that matters so much. So it doesn't just have to be hot dogs and hamburgers. And I know that when it is 90 degrees and hot out, you don't want to be cooking over the stove inside heating up your house. And so don't discount the ability to use your skillet on the grill. So today, I'm going to talk to you about making enchiladas. And this is using our Cabot cheeses and Cabot sour cream. So you can see the lineup that I've got here. Oh, yeah. And so basically, you can either buy your enchilada sauce or you can make your own. It's really simple with garlic powder and um, uh, let's see, we've got some cumin in it and some tomato paste. So like pantry items. Right. And so what is... I felt like a total professional move on my part. While the recipe suggests that you put shredded cheese in, if you buy the already sliced shingles, it doesn't fall out. It just sits nicely on that tortilla. Oh, smart. You know what? And before we even get into this recipe, because I know you're going to walk us through the steps, can you remind people why Cabot is just such a big deal and why we want to be using this cheese as we are getting ready to grill this summer? Absolutely. So. Tis the season of knowing that you can get local produce, like ripe local tomatoes and sweet corn. But believe it or not, the products that you buy from Cabot are also coming from local and regional farms from across New York and New England. So there's about 700 farm families like mine, and the milk that's going into Cabot products is coming from our farms. All right. And What's really awesome about Cabot is that we are a certified B Corp. So if you look on the label of our products and you see that B with a circle around it, we actually are using our business as a force of good, the way we treat our customers and our employees and the commitment we have to the environment. Oh, I love it. Well, okay, let's get into this recipe before we wrap up because I really want to see how it all comes together. And I also want to remind people that they can find this recipe and others at cabotcheese.coop. But walk us through these enchiladas, right? Absolutely, yep. So if you warm up your tortilla so that it's a little more pliable, you can use corn or flour, but when you're doing this at home, flour sticks together a lot more easily. So don't give yourself a headache. So then you're gonna plaster that tortilla with some cheese because the ooey gooey is the good part. And then you're gonna have, you're gonna pre saute up some onions, some peppers, some garlic. So that's what I've got here. And then you're gonna set that on your cheese, on your tortilla. And if you want your protein to be meat, it could be chicken or pork. If you wanna do vegetarian, then you can do black beans or mushrooms. And so then you're gonna wrap up that tortilla and you're gonna set it in your skillet. So I've already set the enchilada sauce here and you're gonna set those wrapped up enchiladas right on top. And then you're gonna put the enchilada sauce over top with some crumbled cheese and throw that baby on the skillet and cook it until your cheese is melted because everything inside is already cooked. So then this is your fin finished presentation and it's all about the top dressing. So of course you have to throw very healthy amounts of sour cream on top. <laughs> I love it. The healthy amounts. So that's a big old dollop, huh? <laughs> yes. And if you're trying to be more mindful of your fat content and you'd rather not use sour cream, you can use uh, our Greek yogurt. It's yes. a really good substitute to sour cream. Absolutely. Amanda, thank you so much for being with us. And for more information, you want to go to cabotcheese.coop. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> 